Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you some shotgun hunting footage from the first shotgun season here in Iowa and I'm also going to be talking about my late season hunting plans and plans for the channel as far as uploading goes and other things like that for the rest of the season and next year. With no cars in the parking lot when we arrived two hours before sunlight, we were very excited for the opening day of Iowa's shotgun season. We were very encouraged by the long walk in as there seemed to be deer all over this place and no other hunters around.
yards away, one of them, uh, the first year they stepped into the clear opening, the field down there had a freaking big body. I can tell from three or four hundred yards away. I'm not sure if I got it on camera or not, but I'm guessing they're all going to go deep into that river bottom and go bed down in the willows for the day. But they should come back to town. We'll have to see if a hunter walks by. Something pushed them. Well, we didn't end up seeing anything that night. We thought that was going to be a good plan, but we really think it was probably dry hunted earlier that day, and that kind of pushed all the deer out. We think that if it wasn't dry hunted, we probably would have seen something, as that bean field had tons of leftover waste bean from the from the harvest, so there was plenty of food in there, and I think we should have seen something. The next morning, it was raining and then turned into snow, and we elected not to go out. We ended up getting about five inches, and we love hunting in the snow, so despite low odds and we really didn't feel like uh, we were going to see much, we decided to go back to the place we were at Saturday morning and try that for an evening hunt on Sunday. Upon getting to the parking lot, we saw that the drive hunters from the day before were just pulling out as they had conducted another drive earlier that day. We now had really low hopes, but we're going to pull in to decide where we were going to hunt that night as we were already out there and there was plenty of public land around there. We were going to try to make some sort of a game plan uh, to have a good hunt. But we actually put the truck in reverse, or we tried to, and the transmission actually uh, goofed up. It was, something was either stuck in there or something, uh, we don't think it broke because the truck's acting fine now, but for a period of about 10 or 15 minutes we couldn't get the transmission to do anything and we were basically stuck there, uh, shifting in and out of four wheel drive, going into two and just trying to get it to work again. We weren't really sure what was going on but after fiddling with it for about 10 or 15 minutes it somehow popped into place and it was uh, good to go so 
not really sure what happened there. It, it's like brand new. It's, he's been driving it for about a week now after that and has had no problems. So uh, I think maybe something just got stuck up in there or something. I don't know. But with the low hopes and now we weren't sure of our transmission, we decided to just go home for the day and uh, cut our losses while we were ahead. We didn't want to get stuck out there uh, six or seven at night or even later if we were going to get a buck. So we decided just to go home and uh, call it a weekend. I wanted to post this video not because it was a, a great hunt per se but I just wanted to show that this is real hunting and uh, it's not always going to go as planned. You know I got very lucky. I was fortunate enough to take a, a very big Halloween uh, public land buck here in Iowa with my bow and so I just want to show that it's not always going to be like that even here in Iowa where we're fortunate enough to have some some pretty nice deer on even on our public lands but it's very dependent on the pressure that the land receives and what other people are doing. I wanted to show that you need to stay positive even when you're not uh, having the best hunts per se. We were laughing and joking throughout this whole time and we were still having a great time so that's very important. If you're not having fun, you shouldn't be out there. We had never shotgun hunted on public land here in Iowa, so we weren't sure what to expect pressure-wise. I was hoping that most people would just still hunt it, kind of like what we were doing, and uh, they wouldn't go through in big party hunts and push all the deer out, but, you know, it's legal. If people enjoy hunting that way, more power to them. Uh, I know it's tradition here in Iowa uh, to drive hunt like that, so and I, I'm sure it'd be a lot of fun. I've never done it personally, but I'm sure it could be fun. Now, with that said, these same drive hunters were uh, talking to us when they showed up on Saturday and they were saying, they asked if we saw anything. We told them we saw quite a few deer down in the bottoms and they said, welcome to our world. We, we never see any big bucks except for down in the bottoms and uh, we never want to go down there to get them. And they're of course talking about the really thick marshy area down there. And I was kind of thinking, like, if you drive the deer and push them all off your land uh, down into the bottoms, I'm not sure you can expect anything else. And so I don't know if they don't realize that or what, but, uh, I mean, they're down there for a reason, and uh, that's how they get big, by going down into the marsh and staying out down there all during the day, during shotgun season, while everyone's out there pushing around. Now, I do think there could be some big bucks in there. Uh, like I said, they can get away from the pressure in the swamp. No one's really willing to go down in there. Uh, it's really uh, swampy down in there. It's wet and it's super thick. So and you can also get even farther from the access down in there. So I think there could be some big bucks in there. And there is buck sign all over and just deer sign everywhere. And, and you know, on Saturday, it really was a very good hunt. We saw probably over 20 deer. And one of them appeared to have a really big body. So... Uh, when we saw him, it was about 350 yards away, so we couldn't tell, but and I'm, I'm sorry I didn't get very good footage of it, but we do think that could have been a mature buck, and uh, there was probably a nice buck in that group, so like I said, I think there could be some big bucks down in there. Uh, it's going to be really good hunting in the rut next year, and, and actually October when all the acorns are falling, uh, I think that's going to be a killer spot, and so we're really excited about that. But uh, it's just hard to hunt it when people come through and, and drive all the deer off there. I want to talk real quick about my plans for the late season here in Iowa. I filmed my buck tag this Halloween, so I haven't been able to get out much and do some hunt, any hunting for my own. But I like to not to go shotgun season so I could get a late season muzzleloader tag and use my bow during the late season. I'm going to have time off from school here, and it actually goes until January 10th, so I'm very excited to get back in the field. It's going to be very cold in the late season here in Iowa, so I'm hoping that picks up on the daytime movement and uh, it makes the big bucks get up on their feet early. I'm also very excited because the place I killed my big buck this year and I hunted it a bit last year during the late season does not receive any shotgun pressure. Uh, so it seems like all the deer uh, flock in there from the neighboring properties getting shot at and uh, they go into the thick stuff and should be a lot of deer in there for the late season. I'm very excited to hunt that and uh, standing corn on the other side is still up to my knowledge which is awesome for the late season so should with the combination of uh, no pressure in the area for a while and standing corn for the food um, it should be awesome deer movement we should see a lot of deer and, and hopefully I can connect on a nice buck I'm not sure how high my stands are going to be but uh, I'm excited to get back out in the field nonetheless I'm also considering hunting the place we hunted uh, Saturday morning 
uh, during the late season after I give it some time off from the from the drivers. I'm sure they were back in there during second season. Another group of them were. So I'm gonna give that some time, but I do plan on hunting that because I do think that could be a very good spot. I also have a piece of private land that I have access to when I go up with my buddy Jack. He was actually in one of the videos. Uh, so a lot of exciting hunts, I'm sure, coming up. So stay tuned for that. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the structure of the channel and uh, my plans for the channel for the rest of this deer season and, and probably for the rest of the next year. My plans are to start making a video blog series where I upload pretty much every hunt that I do and I try to get it up uh, either that night or probably the next day and try to keep it very current for you guys so you guys can see all the, the phases of the rut and the phases of the season and what tactics that we're using. So I plan on uh, uploading almost every single time I go hunting. So those are the types of videos you're going to be seeing for most of the fall. In addition to that, we'll probably have some main shows where we make a bigger, bigger production out of it. Uh, you know, if we get a, a nice kill on footage or any other hunts that we do, um, we'll be making uh, kind of a focused show on that instead of the regular uh, video blogs. In the off season, you can expect more technical tips, uh, whether it be bow tuning, um, hunting tips, anything along those lines, reviews. Uh, you can expect more of those videos. You can expect uh, likely one a week uh, for all the off season. In addition to the tech videos, I'll be continuing the video blogs through the off season, showing uh, anything that we're doing to prepare for the upcoming season or any upcoming hunts. And I'll be just continuing it in a series and try to keep you guys very current and up to date with what we're doing. I think that's all the news I have for you guys today. So. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.